Hi, thanks for stopping in and watching my Zencart series. Uh, if you click on my channel, you can find the whole series that I have on Zencart. I have a whole bunch of Zencart videos. And uh, this one may be a little bit redundant because I've, I've done the install videos before and all that. But uh, what I'm going to do in this one is I'm hoping to walk you through from the very beginning to the very end every step that you need to do in order to make a Zencart and put it together and have it working and accepting payments and uh, calculating US postage. In this case we're going to use US postage. I realize that there's some of you guys that aren't in the US and there are other methods for uh, shipping in your area. But in this particular uh, thing that I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to make a, a website of my own, a, sh a shopping cart for my own personal goods. It's not going to be really a store so much. It's just going to kind of replace eBay. And so to get started, I'm going to just go ahead and type Zencart into my search engine here. And go down here to Zencart.com. Uh, and let's see if there's a download link right there. Well, it's not a download link, but we'll get to that. Okay, version 1.5.1. So this is a new one. This is version 1.5.1. And it was just released the other day, so we're going to go ahead and give you the latest version, Zencart 1.5.1 series. So this is actually going to be how to install Zencart 1.5.1. So we'll click on the latest release. We see a uh, full file set, full release. Uh, so let's see, looking for the latest version. Uh, got ahead of myself there. Let's go right there. That says the latest version, so we're downloading, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and save that file. And uh, I may pause this up depending upon how long the file takes. Also, I've downloaded 7-Zip. Now, I know that uh, some of the newer Windows to have their own zip and unzip programs, but I use 7-Zip. And I just right-clicked my download. I'm using Firefox, and I've clicked Open Containing Folder. So now when I click on this, it should, uh, well, doesn't give me the 7-zip because I haven't uh, rebooted my computer since I put it in, I suppose. So we're going to put this in temp, Zencart, full file set, 80, do, do, blah, blah. Let's just say dash A so I can find that. No, that's equals dash A. We're going to extract right here. And let's we'll see if that extraction works out right. And if it does, then we'll just move on to the very next step of what we need to do with this. So it appears to be extracting. So the next thing I want you to do is once you've got this in your folder and you've got it located and extracted, I need you to go onto your server service, uh, whatever you're using for web service. Uh, let's see. Well, it's not. It's not actually showing that, so let's, okay. Uh, let me go up one. Okay, yeah, I've got that folder in there, so so yeah, that's that. So as I click on this, this opens up all of my files. Okay, we'll, we'll notate where I put that, which is temp, zencart, blah, blah, zencart, blah, blah, and I'll need that for my FTP later. But the first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and set up a database for this. So I can get rid of all of that right now. And I need to go to my control panel, which I've already opened. Uh, let's see. Create database. And I put on here uh, Lens Goodies Zen. And I'm just going to copy that, paste that over there. And I'm going to put a password. two passwords and uh, uh, let me pause this for just a second okay uh, so I've done that and I pressed OK I had my passwords wrong so I didn't want to walk you back through that so now I'm, I'm just waiting for that to set up but in the meantime I can go ahead and get into my FTP and so I've got an FTP going to my website where I plan on putting this and I'm going to just navigate up to the top of my uh, thing here. Uh, 
base root of my directory, www or HTML file. And I'm going to create a folder because I'm not going to have this on the base of my site. It's actually going to be off in its own directory. And it's going to be lens goodies. And that's where my files are going to go. So now I've created that file. And by the way, I'm using FileZilla for that. So all I got to do is go down here and find the folder that I made, HIJK Lens Goodies, right here. Now I open that up. And now I go back over here where I had uh, placed that, which is in a temp file, file I call temp on my C drive. And it's the Zencart 1.5. And I go to Zencart 1.5 and I copy every one of these files over into this lens goodies and it's going to take a while so I'll go ahead and pause out and uh, check back on my database and have some stuff for you here in a second. Okay while my files are loading my database has been created it's an empty database and I'm using GoDaddy and in GoDaddy a lot of times localhost is going to work for you but GoDaddy's does not work that way so I need to copy this web address from the very top here and I'm just going to copy that and for right now I'm just going to lay it in a blank text document hit enter so the next thing I put can be below that and then I'm ready with that now let's see how our FTP is going FTP is done so now all I've got to do is navigate to the website uh, let me open yet another window I've only got about 50 of them open And let me try and remember where I put that. I think it was Lens Goodies. Yep, okay. And it says, thank you for loading Zencart. You are seeing this page for one or more reasons. Uh, when you see that, just click there to begin the installation. Continue. You have to accept the terms. Continue. And then it's going to check your... Uh, system there's always that output buffering off and that's yellow but that's all good if everything else is green uh, you're good to go if it's not everything else is green then what you want to do is you want to read the thing that's not green and see if that's an issue or not an issue and we're just going to go ahead and click install and then it's going to ask us uh, character set and this is uh, where I had copied that thing from before uh, the location of my server I need it to be there database username uh, and database password and I'm going to call oh no this is the name of the database as well so I'll need the username the password and the name of the database for obvious reasons I've changed those up uh, before I put them in so I'm not going to show you those so I'll just pause on that real quick and I'll see you on the next page after you've put in these three items then once you put in those three you go down here and hit save database say, settings okay you'll get a couple of little squiggly lines for a second or two and then it'll if everything went okay it'll go to this page if it didn't it will tell you something's wrong which in my case it didn't because I put in the wrong password but then I fixed that so that's neither here nor there alright SSL details you're gonna uh, go ahead and well let's see server site it's gonna tell you where where on the server it's located you just pretty much gonna leave all this alone enable SSL if you're going to enable SSL uh, you can do that later uh, unless you're sure you've got it set up just just leave all these settings fine as they are and just click OK on that and then you're gonna wanna uh, put store name I won't bore you with this because it's pretty much self-explanatory I'll get to you on the next page unless there's something you need to see okay the one thing that I did want to point out on this is at the very bottom there is a store demo set of uh, goods that you can either put in, choose to put in or leave out one thing that one reason that I put these in is because it is a whole lot easier to uh, set up your gift certificates if you put these in because they have uh, demonstrations of gift certificates and things of that nature so for this reason a lot of times I'll leave that out but I'm going to go ahead and leave this in, and I'm going to suggest if you're new to Zencart, leave this in. So we just save store settings, and then we have administrator username. Uh, I'm going to leave that that. Uh, temporary admin password. Uh, 
Uh, it's going to ask you to change passwords over and over again, so I'm just going to... That's the only thing that I really uh, don't like about the uh, 1.5 series is the fact that it continuously makes you change passwords, and I don't really like changing passwords a lot. Mine are pretty damn secure, I think. but that's just me. So I'm going to go ahead and save the admin settings. Password not secure enough. Of course it isn't. <clears throat> uh, at least seven characters, letters, and numbers. So let's see if that'll let me do anything. Okay, you have successfully set up your Zen cart, blah blah blah. Do I want to save that? No, I don't want to save that, but I do want to pause this and save it on my uh, record here. Hang on. Okay, so let's see. Next steps. For security, you need to rename your admin folder to some a name less likely to be guessed by someone. Blah blah. Renaming your admin folder will guide blah blah blah. Also for security, you need to reset the permissions on your configure PHP files located in admin includes. Now, <coughs> if I go to admin includes, I'm going to find that the permissions have already been reset more than likely. But let's uh, let's take a look on configure PHP. Uh, no, nope, they're sitting at 604. So I don't don't set don't reset these permissions just yet. The first thing you want to do is you want to rename this folder here, this admin folder. Just double click it slowly and rename it to something else. And I'm going to do that and uh, I'm going to get back to you after I've renamed this and I've set the uh, permissions on those files. So hold on. Okay, I've done that and uh, so now I will Click here to open the admin area. Ever feel like you're in the wrong place? Yeah, I do because it asks me to change my admin name. So uh, I'm going to change it again, but I already knew that this was going to happen. So all I did is change it to a capital A in admin here, which I'm going to change that again, obviously, because this is out there on a video. But this should get me into my admin right now. Warning, you cannot access admin until you have deleted the Zencart install folder. Okay, and I'm trying to rush through this because i got somewhere to go. But here's your Zencart install folder. If you open up your FTP client again and go to the bottom of your listings, underneath admin, cache, all that, it's at the very bottom, ZC install. And I'm going to delete completely. You don't want that in there because if somebody goes to your store and then types ZC install at the end of your domain, uh, they, they can get to that folder and that's why they have you do, take this out. So let me verify that this is completely gone and as soon as it's gone then uh, then we'll go back and get into our admin here. Okay, come on. Alright, I think it's gone. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. Now let's refresh and we should be going into our admin here. That's going to ask me for my temporary password, user admin name, and log in. For reasons of security, your temporary password, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. Excuse me. All right, so I've got my old, my new. Let's see if we get anywhere. Okay, here we are. It's got our test customer. It's got our pending reviews approval. Blah blah blah. This is the screen that we're going to see normally. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your ad online catalog, and be sure you have a website. And you do. And this is the basic template and all of the uh, sample data that comes with your Zencart in your Zencart installation. 
So if you followed this video, you have successfully installed a basic brand new Zen cart that can do absolutely nothing at this point. But fear not, in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and apply a template. Now, uh, the templates that I apply, I've ever since the beginning of time when I first started using Zen cart, uh, I apply these templates uh, made by uh, her name's Anne, but I don't know her last name. Uh, and it's Pick a Floor Azul or something like that. Uh, there, there it is. It's in my thing. P I C A F L O R A Z U L. Now, if you go to there and then you click Free Zen Cart Templates, she has a bunch of free templates. Now, I'm not going to give you uh, a video installation of one of her templates because this is her thing and uh, it's very much appreciated if you use one of her free templates to donate uh, she has some very good paid templates and is very very skilled at what she does uh, you may decide to hire her for any and everything that you need to to do in the way of templates and things of that nature or you might want to just use one of these free ones uh, I, I have always used one of these uh, free ones on my own websites because I don't sell a whole lot of stuff and so of course I don't want to put a whole lot of money out but that's just me uh, anyway there's a bunch of them here that she has that you can download for free they are uh, there's a little bit of work involved in installing those so you know if you if you do the work you put in the work and all that uh, you'll get a really nice template so anyway, in, in the next vi few videos, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install a template for my uh, for my shopping cart so that it doesn't look like this funky green on blue. Uh, I'm going to then go ahead and hook up my uh, U.S. shipping. I'm going to show you how to install and set that up. And that way you can put in pounds and etc. And it will show you exactly where you're going with that. Let's make sure I'm still recording. Yeah. Okay, and also I'm going to put in a, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to put in the uh, payment system, which I'm going to use PayPal uh, instant payments or whatever it is. I'm going to go right through my PayPal, so you would be able to visit my, by the time I get done with, with this part of this series, you'll be able to go directly to this website that we're building, log in, uh, it'll look good, and you'll be able to uh, do all of the uh, purchasing that you need to purchase and if I'm selling something that's say three pounds it's going to cost you different than if I'm selling something that's ten pounds for shipping because the shipping will be accurately quoted by the US Postal Service and you'll be able to pay immediately using PayPal and I'll immediately get that order and we go from there but anyway this video has run long enough so I hope this has helped you if it has please give me a thumbs up comment rate subscribe and also remember I have a playlist if you just click on my name and go to my main page uh, you'll see all of my playlists and my Zen cart playlist should be at the top of that and uh, if you really want to pick up on Zen cart here's a little trick that I use when I go to a playlist I'll turn it on and go to bed and uh, it just kind of subliminally tells me a lot of stuff so I hope this helped you if it has once again Thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you in another video. Take care.